uh, what we have here is a Garmin Nuvi 1390 LMT. And what I have on it, although I do have lifetime maps, I'll just show you here. I do have, um, now you'll see I have North America NT, but it's only US and Canada. But I also have uh, Open Map Chest, which is Open Street Map, but I have US, Canada, and Mexico. So, oh yeah, these maps are combined. Well, how do you do it? Well, first of all, if you don't know how to install Open Map Chest maps, go back to my previous videos and I show a tutorial on how to do that, but let's get to the crux of this. So what I've done is that I went to Open Map Chest and I downloaded the three maps for Mexico, contiguous United States, and Canada. And each one of these, if I go inside, has the same file name, which is GMAP SUP, which means GMAP Supplemental. And they're all the same. But what I did is I extracted each one of these and renamed it. That's why I have this to upload folder here. And I just renamed it to OSM CN, OSM MX, OSM US for Canada, Mexico, US. I don't know if CN is the proper two digit abbreviate, or it should be C. Actually, wait, that should be CA, shouldn't it? CN is China. Oops. Okay. Now it's correct. OSMCA OpenStreetMap Canada, OpenStreetMap Mexico, OpenStreetMap US. And then what I do is I send this over to the Garmin folder uh, or the map folder on some models for the uh, GPS. And then you get it all, which is great. Now I don't know how many uh, maps you can do in, in combination, but right now on this unit I got, I got four. I've got the one from Garmin and I got three of them from OpenStreetMap, which is pretty cool. Now, I'll have this linked in the description. This is a GPS model release date history, and there's a reason I'm showing this, and there's a reason I'm showing this blue thing right here. From here up. So, all the way back, again, this is linked in the description if you wanna see this list for yourself. Any one of these, I'm pretty sure, does not support multiple maps beyond two of them. You can do GMAP, GMAP uh, SUP and maybe SUP1, I think. But as far as doing the combo maps, like I'm doing here, where you can name them any, anything you want and the unit will recognize them, I don't think that's possible. However, from here down, with maybe not the 1690 and maybe not the 1695 but I think all the rest of them all the way down to the latest one which is the Overlander and the RV890 you can totally go and do this thing where you can do multiple maps if you want and effectively make a, uh, a world GPS because I have a 32 gig card in here and in theory I could fit almost the entire known world of maps from OpenStreetMap. Now here is OpenStreetMap right here and I'm showing this for a reason. Now this is a ridiculous route. This is a route from Austin, Texas all the way, let me just bring this up to the absolute furthest point I could drive, not that I would, but you could, which is Yavisa, Panama. Pretty sure that's what that is. I can't even get Google Street Maps of that one. But anyway, this is a ridiculous 4,764 kilometer trip that would take 64 and a half hours to complete, which is absolutely nuts. But in theory, what you could do is you could do Canada, United States, Mexico, and then all of South America all in one GPS, at least up until here. Because this, the, the reason I stopped there, that is the absolute furthest point you can drive before you got to stop. Because the thing is, let me just zoom in, I'll, I'll show you exactly why you got to stop. 
yeah there it is that that that's 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 a canal i'm pretty sure you can't drive over this <laughs> this there's no way to do it when you're at that in that part of panama because uh, you know there's water right there and that's it that is the absolute furthest you can drive so like i said in theory you could have a a nuvi with all this all well what uh what's called north america as far as the gps is concerned all of this all the way here and then somehow get over here not by car but by some other means and then all of this and you could do other parts of the world too if you wanted to but in theory you're supposed to be able to do that so kind of a neat little thing that yes you can combine maps with open map chest just download the images and throw them on the uh, 32 gigabyte memory card and you can totally do it and again I will have this listed here this uh, from POI factory a release list of every gar well not every Garmin some of them aren't listed here but this is a very comprehensive list and like I said from this point from basically 2000 um, April 2009 on should be able to do multiple maps uh, multiple map images so give it a try and then I think at the bare minimum at least for North American users you're going to want United States Mexico Canada and uh, yeah you can totally do that which is great and then uh, well for other parts of the world you can also combine countries together which is just great because you can make it a very um, expansive unit so to speak for where you live so you're never wanting for an, uh, an offline map you just it's in here you got it so that is cool even on this decidedly ancient gps because the 1390 <laughs> that's from 2009 see it says so right there 13xo that means 1300 1350 and 1390 which is what this guy is that this is 11 at the time i record this over 11 years old that's nuts but still works still works great 